Yo what up guys, Ari Gold Chamber and this is day 5 of the 2020 and today we are going to talk about gratitude and how important gratitude is for us to be able to allow abundance into our lives. Like think of it this way, gratitude is it's almost like, um, I'm trying to find the best analogy here, it's almost like knowing the roadmap to how to allow abundance in without even like going through any kind of hurdles, any obstacles or anything like that. Because when you have gratitude, you literally allow, allow, allow your vibration to feel so high at all times and have a flow state. And when you have flow state, it's very simple. Flow state means that your vibration is so high that you actually feel like great. You feel invincible. And when you feel invincible, you allow the universe, that's the, the key that many people don't realize this, but they do eventually with awareness, self-awareness, the one that I just covered in uh, day four. Uh, when you have gratitude, you you are literally, and you have high, high vibrations, literally. Think of your uh, video channel being open and like clear of any kind of noise. Noise meaning like the background uh, interference and all the, the thing and, and etc. And just you allow yourself to transmission abundance from the universe. Because the way the universe works is, if you allow, if you have gratitude, therefore you really don't uh, have any kind of noise in your head. Your ego doesn't really have control over you because you are so happy that whatever you have, you are so grateful that you always keep your vibration high. And the trick of getting more abundance and getting more whatever you want to happen in your life and creating a reality and being created for you because of your thoughts and your mind is to be able to have the gratitude in your life. And the way that gratitude will actually function is, it'll literally make sure that your, your vibration is always up, up at its peak. And when you have a peak a vibration, you'll literally be open doors like, hey, I'm, um, I'm available to receive any kind of a broadcast, any kind of transmission, any kind of uh, guidance, any kind of uh, messages, channels, everything else. And you'll be surprised how having gratitude will open so many doors for you too as well because not just in the universe. Let's say you're doing a, a work for somebody or you have a company and people are just like bringing you business and every time you feel gratitude for them just even being working with you or having all these connections and having all this beautiful success with your company or success you bring to a company that you work for, like having gratitude for that, that's, that, would, that, that would literally fuel you to actually do a better job and have a more clear head. And just having a clear head is not just a physical clear head. Like having a clear head means that you're, uh, you have so, such clarity because you have so much gratitude that you don't actually think of other things like, oh, I wish I had this, I wish I did this, I did that, because you have gratitude. And gratitude actually allows your mind to be clear and at rest and peaceful. And by having peace, you allow more, more stuff to come into your mind like channels, downloads guidance from your higher being of, and from the angels and spirit guides or whatever else are, is around you, those cool, beautiful beings. Even if you don't believe it, they are still there, it doesn't matter. But if you believe it, you can you have more control actually to actually get more out of it. It's really, really amazing. So by having that, you are actually getting more, therefore you'll be more productive and more successful because you'll be getting things and whatever, whether you use it in your company or the company you work for or in your business, whatever you do, you will be spotted by how original and genuine your stuff are. And by that, you actually, just that alone will be successful. And then from an esoteric uh, sense and perspective, having gratitude will allow you to just say, I am enough, I am doing what I love. So the way the uh, gratitude is actually deciphered by the universe is, you tell the universe, thank you for everything that you've given me. And by saying thank you, by practicing gratitude, by actually living with gratitude, because it's one thing to say, okay, yeah, I'm grateful, but do you really mean that you're grateful? If you're complaining about, oh, I wish I had a better house, a better car, a better wife, better kids, better job, better anything, that just means, that literally means that you're not really happy with what you have and you are desiring things that you don't have, which means that you are not really thankful and grateful, like really grateful for the universe, for what you created and your mind is still like not happy. And when you're not happy, you're literally, you have like closed doors. It's literally like having no window, no doors open, and asking for things from the universe where, where you actually are air, air tight of not allowing anything to come in. So 
that's the when you have no gratitude. But when you have gratitude, you literally have your windows open, your doors open, everything, your 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 entire roof is open. Literally, your mind, your everything, your your full state. You know, you have a flow in your life, meaning you have abundance in your life. And and when you have that. Everything just naturally just formulates for you. It, it just comes to you. You don't even have to try it. Of course, you have to do some action by doing what you love and uh, always feeling happy. And that's part of the gratitude. Feeling happy, feeling grateful, feeling bliss, living in the moment. It, it's also very important. But gratitude, it, it's all inclusive. Like right? It's all in there. So it's like if you're grateful for whatever you have, most likely you are living in the moment because you're saying right now, I'm happy that I have this, I have this, I have this. It doesn't really mean that you're happy that you had in something in the past, but it's you're happy because the word gratitude is about now. It's about now, now, now. So if you're actually happy to whatever you have, then you'll be happy for whatever you have, and you'll be happy in the moment instead of in the future. And that that alone will literally get you so much. So gratitude is really important to know that it's not just the word gratitude. It's just the fact of like even like where's that? I just threw away my coffee cup. It says "Be grateful" on it. Some coffee beans. Really cool message little slogan it is so important to just be grateful because being grateful it just literally tells you to yourself that you are proud of yourself and you've actually feel it's almost like self motivator you feel more motivated to do more in your life because you're like okay I've already accomplished this I've accomplished this like I'm so happy right now that I have this green room this, this studio I accomplished this I built it myself from ground up this was like literally like blank it's just the old storage broken down the walls and I'm very grateful for the studio and every day I add more stuff like I added the chalkboard uh, like a few months ago it was before like a regular thing and then I got this table from a cool flea market for like one one third of the price it was, it was gonna cost me like, like almost two thousand otherwise but anyways my point is when you're grateful for what you have more things come to you because you allow those things to come to you because everything is always coming to us but a lot of times we're not aware, again, self-awareness, that they're coming to us. So we just say, hey, if we're mad, it's okay. Because I'm sure with pain and gain, I'll be able to earn that. So we end up going the, the wrong route, the kind of the longer way. And instead of saying, hey, I can just manifest this by just being grateful and allowing the abundance to just actually flow to me. Instead, we go around it and we work so many hours and hard and end up actually paying ourselves into getting that with pain and with actually money earning through like a lot of hours which we, we could have just wasted, we could have just used and utilized on like things that we actually love doing, enjoy, you know, instead of having to work extra million hours just to get things that we could have just got by just allowing, by just being grateful, you know? So that's why it is so important that to be grateful and to actually know how the universe works. Many people think it's magic, many people think it's, it's luck, there's no such thing as luck. Gratitude is literally your luck creator. So if you want to be lucky, be grateful. If you even go to buy a lottery, don't say, oh my God, I have to buy a lottery because I need the money. Just buy it because you felt that that day you just, you felt that you want to buy a battery, a battery, a lottery. And if you win, you win. If you know, if you don't, don't. And even if you, even when you buy the lottery per se, like the scratchers, I mean like, not like the actual drawing ones, just set the intention that you're going to, that, that's a whole different topic one that I'm, I've covered in my channel, but I'll cover it again in the future. And this is a 2020 a newer version. Uh, like just put that little segment intention, which means that that little temporary intention that for that short period of choosing the right lottery per se. My point is be grateful, no matter if you win $5 or $20, don't, don't expect billion dollars. Just say, hey, I just wanna buy this and I'm grateful no matter what, even if I win my, my money back, it would just a little ticket. I personally don't gamble at all because that's me saying I don't have enough money. So gambling for me, it's almost like a bad energy because you're stressing over even if you lose one cent or one dollar. So I'm not su suggesting you should uh, go and gamble scratches or anything or because gambling is not a good thing. It's actually a control that we don't want to be part of at all. And yeah, but be grateful and be grateful for the least that you have. Even if you have hungry dollars in your bank account, be grateful. If you have a million dollars in your bank account, be grateful. Don't say, oh my God, I wish I had a billion dollars because a million dollars is not enough. Because that's literally telling yourself that you didn't even try hard or you're not even doing anything that you love. And that's telling the universe the middle finger by saying, sorry, but I don't really love my abundance and I don't actually even appreciate it. So be grateful to show your appreciation to the universe and for the universe to actually bring you more abundance as you allow things to happen for you, as you allow by just practicing gratitude in your everyday 
live. And that said, have an amazing, beautiful Sunday evening, Sunday and Monday morning, if this is already Monday. Thanks for the watch, thanks for the love. If you like this video, hit the comment, like, subscribe, uh, ring, whatever you wish. I'm gonna leave that to you. And that said, much love, peace, and namaste. Say bye, B. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.